Hello. And welcome. In this video, we illustrate the relationship between the airways and the vascular structures, to help navigate safely, and to enhance training in bronchoscopy. There has been a renewed interest by pulmonologists in the use of therapeutic rigid bronch, in the treatment of airway diseases. And with a continuous evolution of interventional pulmonology training programs, one would expect the increased use of this modality. Complications associated with therapeutic bronch are not rare, and do happen. They can result in severe hemorrhage, airway perforation and death. Patient's assessment starts with good history taking, and the review of available clinical data. Chest CT provides valuable information for procedural planning. If bronchoscopy is contemplated, it is important to assess the relationship between the blood vessels and the airways around the area of interest. Please, be advised that in the following slides, we purposefully flip the images to simulate real-life navigation. The right side of the image corresponds to the right side of the patient. So, let's start navigating into the airways. Past the vocal cords, the upper trachea is wrapped by the thyroid gland anteriorly. And laterally, you see the common carotid arteries that may get very close to the trachea, at the base of the neck. Posteriorly, the membranous wall of the trachea rests on the esophagus. As we continue navigating further down, on the right side of the trachea, is the common carotid artery and the subclavian artery. On the left side, is the left subclavian artery emanating from the aortic arch, and the common carotid artery. Here, at the level of the thoracic trachea, when rotating the bronch slowly from left to right, you will face the left subclavian artery, emanating from the aortic arch, then the left common carotid artery, followed anteriorly by the brachiocephalic trunk. Slightly to the right, you will face the right brachiocephalic vein which merges with the left brachiocephalic vein, and form the superior vena cava. Once again, remember, in this image, the right side corresponds to the right side of the patient. As we continue navigating down into the trachea, the aortic arch will be on the left, at 9 o'clock position, and curving to the right. And, as we are about to reach the main carina, the superior vena cava is lateral, and will receive the azygos vein on the right, at 3 o'clock position. Here, we can appreciate how close is the aortic arch, at 9 o'clock position down the distal trachea, at the level of the main carina. And at 3 o'clock position, we can easily see the azygous vein arching superior to the right main stem bronchus. On this sagittal view, we see how close is the left main stem bronchus to the aorta, it passes just beneath the aortic arch. Now as we enter the right main stem bronchus, anteriorly, is the right pulmonary artery which branches out, the superior lobar arteries following the right upper lobe bronchus, and down laterally, along the bronchus intermedius, branching out to middle, and, inferior lobar arteries. As we navigate down the left main stem bronchus, the left pulmonary artery is anterior, and continues its course laterally, and gives superior and inferior branches. Note in this image, the descending aorta runs posterior to the proximal left main bronchus. The right pulmonary artery, is seen anterior to the right upper lobe bronchus and the bronchus intermedius. There is no vessel posteriorly. Down into the left main stem bronchus, anteriorly, is the left pulmonary artery, and posteriorly, is the descending aorta. On this image, we wanted to illustrate how the pulmonary artery trunk, that is anterior to the main carina, branches out and wraps around the bronchus intermedius on the right, and around the left main stem bronchus on the left. This frontal view clearly shows the pulmonary artery embracing the bronchus intermedius and the left main stem bronchus. Generally, branches of the pulmonary arteries follow the branching of the bronchopulmonary segments. The right pulmonary artery gives off branches for each of the segments, of the right middle lobe, and the right lower lobe. The left pulmonary artery gives off branches for each of the segments of the left upper lobe and the left lower lobe. In summary, there is a close relationship between the tracheobronchial tree and the intrathoracic blood vessels. A good understanding of this relationship is important for a safe and effective bronchoscopy. This, conclude our video. For any comment or suggestion, please visit us at our website. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.